are cleared to land in docking bay 11. I sent you my position three weeks ago. I told you this was happening. We'll discuss that in private, Doctor. Palmer. What has she done? How far has it already gone? Good work, Osiris. What do you think that's about? seen Chief press himself like this since we were in boot camp. He's fine, Fred. And this many missions non-stop isn't fun. Sierra 117 to infinity. Blue team has located Argent Moon. Signs of hostile activity, but she's still here. Copy that, 117. Eliminate all hostiles. Secure Argent Moon. You may deploy when ready. Affirmative infinity. 117 out. Hello everybody and welcome to the second mission of my Halo 5 Legendary Wata Guide. Today we'll be doing the mission Blue Team, which is awesome because we get to play as we get to play as Blue Team in one of the three missions that you get to play as Blue Team. So we're gonna have a little bit of fun on this one. It's gonna be a quite a bit of a long mission, but there's quite a bit of cutscenes, so we'll have a we'll have our fun with it. So the first part of this is actually a very long uh, walk all the way over here. It's almost like a basically a minute to get to here. But right here, we're going to deal with two grunts in this inside this room, no matter what. And then there's going to be two jackals typically standing near this door. So once you take them out, that grunt will come out right here from the little vent area. You're going to want to pick up a plasma pistol because there's typically an elite nearby right here. So you want to look for him, try to take him out. But unfortunately, there might be an elite that comes out, an elite major that might come over here. And your goal, you want to try to take him out as soon as you can. Now, in this mission, we're going to be using quite a bit the... Um, the team like shoot at this guy function um, it's gonna be really important because it's also gonna help you guys see who I'm shooting at rather than or who I'm trying to prioritize so that's really what I'm hoping to use it for uh, if the if our uh, AI friends want to help out that's completely cool but I'm not expecting much from them like as much as I like the blue team now once you take out those elites uh, that last elite there's gonna be three grunts that charge out of those doors take them out pretty easily and then we're going to be at the data center. This is the, that was one of the only two engagements for the first part before we encounter the hunters. So, uh, while we wait for the data center, we're just going to, while we read what's going on in the Argent Moon, we're just going to kind of run around, do our thing. Um, this is going to be a quick little plug to my Discord. It's going to be down in the uh, description. Feel free to join if you want a little bit of help and stuff like that. Or if you want to just, like, help make the community better. That's awesome. 
But here we're gonna go down this elevator. We're gonna immediately bring Fred, Linda, and Kelly with us, and it's just gonna be a small little, uh, a short little ride before we go into the second engagement, which is gonna be the longer one of the two uh, engagements. But it's still pretty easy because they're gonna give you is like pretty much. A ton of ammo. There's going to be a lot of battle rifle, DMR, and pistol ammo. You should be able to pretty much handle everybody pretty easily. And then at the very end, they reward us with the Blaze of Glory shock, uh, shotgun, and it's going to be pretty cool to have one of our uh, to have one of our AI friends pick it up. So first things first, you're going to deal with three grunts immediately when you uh, charge through that, uh, those doors. So here are those three, and then there's going to be a series of jackals that you're going to be dealing with on the way there. Prioritize taking out the elites with your team. If you start seeing your team firing on a uh, on an elite, you are going to help them out. That is just going to help you out because who knows? They might have taken out their shields just like that other elite right there. And then notice how when they focus fire, they are much more uh, coordinated and they do help you out a little bit uh, more as well. So there's a lot of weak little special ops. Um, elites right here so just take them out stay from afar use your pistol and whenever you can uh, try to pick up some ammo and if you have a uh, one of your allies down if they're in a safe spot go revive them because it's really really nice to be able to get that little overshield especially uh, when you're in the middle of like a, good, uh, a small firefight now trying to take out the final few uh, few elites up here there's gonna be like three more elites and then we already took out all the jackals so oh actually never mind we have two more jackal skirmishers coming down here typically you already like have cleared them out got a grunt right here so not a ton more elites the one elite that you really really want to be careful of is that uh that elite right uh that elite major who just loves taking all the freaking headshots in the world once you take him out it's just going to be a few more of the uh special ops elites I was really trying to take out this elite right here. Unfortunately, I couldn't see him, and I didn't want to didn't want to die. So, uh, we're gonna pick up Kelly really fast. Gonna pick up Fred. Pray that our shields hold it. And unfortunately, we did lose Linda, but it's fine because uh, Kelly and Fred did help us take out that final special ops um, that special ops elite. So, coming up here, have one of your allies pick up the Hydra. Come up to the second level right here where you're going to trade your plasma pistol for the DMR. Now, you have a wide area to use your pistol. Clear out the rest of that ammo if you want to. Or feel free to switch to your DMR. There's plenty of DMR ammo uh, for the for the for pretty much the rest of the section. You pretty much have unlimited DMR, so just go ham. Just make sure that you are be taking out all the enemies before you move up. And what I mean by that, that seems pretty obvious, right? Don't run into the middle of a bunch of enemies. But what I mean by that is... You want to make sure that you create the safest path, the path of least resistance between you and the exit point. So we're almost done taking out all the enemies that we can see, but I'm just making sure before we move up that we have cleared out pretty much everybody. But looks like we have some uh, some ability to take out some more of those jackals from afar. Now we got a few grunts coming in. Another jackal. Saw this jackal. He just decided to get stunned. There we go. Now, before we move up, pick up a little bit more DMR ammo. There's plenty of DMR, as I said. Just grab one and just go ham. Now, there's going to be some grunts here on the right. So, make sure that you are keeping an eye out on these grunts. I accidentally almost died here because these three grunts just decided to, like, wreck my, like, destroy me. So, just make sure that you are keeping tabs of them as well. Got a few more grunts here. Got three on the left, three on the right. So, we already took out the three on the right. We have to take out the three on the left. There's two, and then the third one is shooting at me with their plasma pistol. Got a few more grunts coming in. Almost took out all the grunts. Got a jackal skirmisher. You want to be careful of the uh, jackal marksmen in this area because they do come with the Covenant Carbine. So just make sure that you are uh, aware of them. They typically hop up on top of that. As you saw where that one shot me from, they usually are on top of that. Uh, I don't know what to call that, but on top of that elevated area. Now, before you move on, if you want to, get some ammo, pick up a battle rifle. We're going to use that later on. And pretty much just going to take take out the uh, final few Jackal Skirmishers, Jackal Marksmen on the right. And then this Elite Major to basically complete this section of the mission. Now, I think there's one more Jackal. Here he is. He, has, he stands no chance. 
But now that we've cleared out all the enemies, that's pretty much the first few engagements. Not too bad, just kind of just going through it. Now before we move on to the hunter section, we are going to... I'm going to show you guys where that blaze of glory is. So we're not going to be using it ourselves because I have not found a, an effective use case. Especially on legendary difficulty for this shotgun. So I kind of just give it to my uh, give it to one of the AIs, whoever yeah, wants to use it. So just kind of give it to... Uh, you can choose to use it if you want to. Sometimes it's nice to use against uh, the hunter's later on so you can use that i just like going into this with uh, double precision weapons but once you get to this part we're going to be dealing with the cutscene with cortana hunters will come out and i'll see you guys on the other side of it blue team report sierra 117 to blue team report Sierra 117, does anyone copy? The domain is open. Meridian is next. Cortana? John, the reclamation is about to begin. All right, after that cutscene, we're going to be coming back, and now we're going to be dealing with the dreaded hunter section. This is the first one of two, and this is also where you're going to be dealing with quite a bit of suicide grunts. So just make sure that you are really, really careful, making sure that you are aware of any grunts that come by. There's going to be one on the right, two on the left. So just make sure that you are kind of walking. Do not go into a sprint, because the grunts here will just destroy you immediately. Like, there's no, there's no way around it, so... Just make sure you have your lights on. Assassinate all these grunts here. There we go. Got two, three. And then head back over here. And you can toss a few grenades over here. Oh, freaking uh, Kelly got in the way, but not going to kill Bay. But anyways, that grenade almost got me, but... Got a few active camouflage uh, elites, just make sure you take them out. That's why we threw the grenades and make sure that we could reveal them because the shields do flare when you throw a grenade at them. Who would have known? But down over here, we're going to be dealing with the first section of the suicide grunt. So make sure that you are being very, very careful, especially when you round this corner specifically. This corner is the freaky corner. And we're going to be dealing with a, a grunt coming up in a few moments. The hunters are basically tracking us, but kind of waiting for this grunt here. There we go. Then there's going to be another one coming up in a few moments. On Oh, there's a couple of jackals first. I'm going to toss a few grenades here, try to get the, get the bank on them. Easy. Now, trying to see if there's going to be any more. There's that grunt. I was waiting for him to come up here. 
I, I got killed by that, uh, not expecting him in one of the runs, and it was it was annoying. But after that, we're going to deal with yet another one. Got the sticky on him off the bounce. What a lucky me. And then there's going to be another grind at the very end of this hall. Just going to try to get the next sticky. And I did. Look at that. And, but he decided to go out with a big bang. Going to stay crouched here. Might want to turn off our light in a few moments. But we're keeping it on. Just there. Got another sticky. Three in a row. Trying to see if we can get this. There we go. Got a few grunts left. There we go. You're gonna have a few elites coming out in a few moments. Just make sure you take out the final bit of grunts before the elites come out. There it is. That is the only elite that will come out. He always has a sword. Now, we don't need to pick up anything else. Now, you can pick up, uh, you can drop your DMR if you're low on ammo. Pick up a plasma pistol. That's completely fine. Gonna just run into this wall. Got a bunch more Covenant coming in. Nice, nice, nice. More people. More Covenant. More aliens for me to decimate, right? Or for us to decimate. But, gonna pick up this pistol. Gonna get some ammo for it. And we don't really use the Assault Rifle on Legendary. Who uses it, I mean? But, I, I, I'm kidding, of course. Like, I like the Assault Rifle. I'm just, I'm just saying, like, precision weapons are your best friend in, on Legendary. Just waiting for us to be able to, like... Got a bunch of exposition that kind of, like, hoffs the gameplay, right? But, anyways, we're just going to move on forward. Got the hunter section right here. Now, the hunter section is kind of difficult. So, you can decide... Th there's two ways that you can go about this. You can either A, kill the hunters, or B, bypass the hunters. Both are completely valid. I'm just saying if you bypass the hunters right now, you will deal with them later on. So it is completely okay. Now the way you're going to deal with this is you're going to bait your team out. You're going to send them to the left. You go to the right. And your goal is to get around them as fast as you possibly can. You're going to try to get down to this area. Force that open. And then you're going to immediately thrust her around to the right. Now you do not care if your team goes down. Just sit here behind cover. Do not aggro anybody. Just sit here, wait, and then drop on down. That is the safest way for you to get through that room. However, we will have to deal with those uh, hunters later on. You can kill them. You won't have to deal with hunters later on. It's a trade-off. Now, when you get to this room, there's going to be another wide, uh, another wide expanse with a little bit more cover. But you have a lot more elites and a lot more deadly enemies in this part. Now, you're going to be dealing with your jackal snipers. You're going to be dealing with uh, elites also on... Uh, on the plasma cannon so make sure that you are aware of that uh, when you do hop over to the left hand side which is where all the ammo is funny enough so clearing out any enemies here on the right first we always want to make sure that it's safe to move up before we uh we always want to clear the enemies out before we it, it is safe to move up so it is safe to move up wow english is hard oh, come on there we go the pistol was our trying to land that shot but Trying to see if I can get that elite over there on the left. Uh, Fred, I told you to take out that elite, my guy. But now you know who I'm trying to fire uh, fire at. So Now, over here, when you get up to this point, you're going to be very careful because a bunch of jackals will uh, kind of just drop around. Like We don't even see them. They are there. But make sure that you are um, keeping tabs of them. Lots of jackal skirmishers. There we have a... Uh, Fred being useful. That was nice. Come on, Fred. Trying to get that grenade. Hopefully... Ah, oh, super close. Uh, shield flared on that elite. There we go. Now, notice how I'm staying behind this, uh, this cover right here. I'm staying on the bottom side of this ramp. Immediately going to be able to rev uh, revive Fred. Just It's just nice to have that over shield, as I said. Now you see that little red light? That's a jackal sniper. Make sure you are keeping tabs on it and stay behind cover as like whenever you possibly can when you're dealing with that jackal sniper. There's two of them by the way. So make sure that you are um, make sure you don't go anywhere near that left side that uh that left window. I'm trying to make sure that we have some ammo here. Which we do. We have it up here on the on the left side. I'm trying to make sure it's safe. By the way, there's that other Jackal Sniper. There we go. And that's all the Jackal Snipers that you have to worry about. There's only two of them. 
Almost taking out the... F just clearing out the final few enemies. Got a few more elites. Yikes, that... Sometimes it's just scary on Halo 5 when a, when a, uh, when one of the enemies just like bursts you down with the storm rifle. All it takes is just one more burst and you're basically done. But there's plenty of ammo here for you. Plenty of magnum, plenty of battle rifle. Just get as much as you can. You actually want to probably empty out all your weapons before you move up because of uh, the, next, the next sections. Got two more elites trying to take them out. And then there's one more. Actually, there might be two more because one probably got on to, onto that turret. Surprise, surprise, it did. Kind of annoying to have that elite on that, but the goal here is to just try to take out that elite on the uh, on the turret. But come on, got one more shot. There we go. And Fred should probably go revive Linda, but or no, Kelly should go revive Linda. Fred's dead. That's unfortunate. But those two elites right here are the final two elites in this uh, in this room. Once you clear them out, we can go and uh, basically unlock the next door. So, um, where did that freaking jackal come from, dude? But one jackal kind of got the drop on me, and I didn't even expect that. But make sure you are aware, uh, keeping track of your motion tracker. I was just kept, I just kept wondering like why Kelly kept fall, uh, dying. And now I understand. Jackal was trying to zero dark thirty, zero dark thirty my my uh, my team here. Trying to see if we can always keep running out of ammo. Gonna use this plasma pistol to make my life a little easier. Trying to take out these final two, um, these final two elites. But notice how much easier things get when you're just using the plasma pistol. And I ended up EMPing or ended up. Trying to noob combo a, uh, what is it, uh, a freaking grunt, and thankfully Kelly there was able to help us out by taking out the uh, that elite. Any more ammo? Go back to the crate. See if there's any. Yep, got plenty of battle rifle ammo. Probably gonna pick up a beam rifle just for just for fun. Hopping through. Go up to the interactivity button thing. Hit the few buttons, and then there we go. Overload. Oh, unfortunately, I wasn't able to pick up one of the uh, snipers. But that's okay. Uh, yeah, we'll pick up this Magnum. Now, kind of just going to head to the middle over here. UNSC has better reactor safety. Thanks for that little bit of exposition. But now you're just going to hit... Go to the center, fall down this little elevator shaft to the hangar area, and the hangar area is really, really fun. Actually, it's probably the most fun of uh, the most uh, fun part of this mission. You get to just hijack a banshee and just fly around the Argent Moon inside and destroy it. It feels kind of like uh, I would say Pillar of Autumnish or High Ch not, not High Charity, yeah, a little bit more Pillar of Autumn or the Maw or whatever. Trying to, or maybe even, I'm trying to figure out which one, but anyways, when you get to this part, you're going to beeline it for this side on the right here. You're immediately going to go immediately down this uh, down this path, and you're just going to try to clear out any of the jackals that rush you first. Keeping tabs of any, um, any banshees, this is the part where you might die the most at. This is going to be the part where you eat might have to uh, if you're doing a no death run you might want to hold out if you're doing a um Give me shoot. A trying to see if they will make it and there we go this was the part as i said like you are going to be like down i, I was like you know what? i'm having a really nice run here i am not dying here I don't want to die. So we're going to get all of our team inside this banshee. Uh, these banshees. There's multiple. But we're going to clear out all these enemies first. I'm trying to see if there's any other banshees that we can have them take. And then we can use these rocket launchers here. Yep. There we go. And we're going to use these rocket launchers here. Uh, which pretty much all the areas have to just destroy these banshees. And by the way, this is the only time I'm going to actually break my rule that I had just one mission ago where I said 
Yeah, downs are basically deaths. But that was absolute bullcrap. <laughs> not not me saying that. Like I'm gonna always try to not die in, in a in a run. So, like if I died, uh, if I got down again, like right here, I probably would have said, you know what, time to restart. All right, I'm gonna try to get everybody into a banshee before me because what their goal. So your team is basically trying to take out the rest of the enemies while you're sitting over here, kind of just making sure that you clear the skies. Once you clear the skies, hop into a banshee and clear out some of the enemies over here. Once you clear enough of the enemies, we should be able to deal with uh, taking out the uh, the reactors. Going around. Try and see if we can have any more enemies. Come on. I was kind of just going on to this killing spree. Just waiting for an opportunity to be able to actually go on with the uh, with the objective. Come on. A few more. Cool. Now, after you uh, take out all these enemies on this platform, you're going to rush through the door. And uh, basically just hit the override. And then that will allow you to... Um, allow you to destroy the little reactors around the area again pick up rocket launchers whenever you can because they are going to be important not only for right now but they're going to be super important later on if you end up dealing with uh, the hunters like if you're able to keep these you'll be you'll be set now you're going to want to be very very careful of anybody with fuel rod cannons make sure that you are um if your banshee is getting destroyed you will want to um i guess basically get a new one Shields are down, trying to rush around. Got a few more of these to take out. I think there's like eight of them. Uh, flying around. Took out some of these other ones. Oh, there we go. Killed the killed the elite inside of there. Uh, trying to find that last one. And I think it's because... Oh, I didn't even destroy the one that I was at. Nice. There's that other vent right there. And after taking out all those vents, you can just head on down. Head on down. Get ready to... You're going to probably want to place your uh, Banshee in cover. Or at least be fast to just, like, fly back and forth. Trying to sit here. Just waiting for the... Just trying to be safe. Sitting around here, flying in a circle. Now we can rush on through. There we go. So there's a lot of waiting sometimes, but let's uh, all, by the way, back there when I got down, let's all just say that that was a fluke. I get a, I get one mulligan in this entire walkthrough. This is the only time, I promise, I promise that I will ever allow myself to go down. I am sorry. I know I said that this is not supposed to be one of those where, but whatever. It, it's it, like everybody goes down sometimes. It's all about how you get back up. But when you get to the final area, it's just kind of like a little firefight. There's going to be a lot of enemies, and guess who decides to join us a little later on? Our our pals, our buddies, the Hunters. And trust me when I say they are not your buddies, and they are not friendly. So we'll deal with them as soon as we clear out a good portion of this room. But it, funny enough, you really kind of want to be aggressive until the Hunters show up. This entire section of the mission comes down to just you being aggressive. There's plenty of... Uh, there's plenty of there's plenty of weapons that you can use in this room that are extremely overpowered. We're talking about the Hydra. We're talking about the Railgun. We're talking about rocket launchers, fuel rod cannons. You'll have an ability to kill hunters whenever you can. Just make sure that you are aware of grunts and their stupid little fuel rod cannons. And uh, make sure that you prioritize them. They always typically seem to be on the bottom floor. Honestly, we're just trying to find a way for me to get to a to the nearest like battle rifle. That way I can get more ammo. And thankfully I was able to find some. Sorry. Trying to find a little bit more of these enemies. See, there's another one of those little bastards right there. Grunt with the freaking fuel rod cannon. On bottom floor, what's going on here? Got just some grunts. 
nothing crazy. Oh, look at this. This elite feels like he's gonna be able to end this. He get, he gets he does get Linda, I will say that. He went out with a bang. Another grunt with a fuel rod cannon. Just make sure that you are keeping track of your motion tracker. Hey look, they killed somebody. That's awesome. Sometimes I feel like the AI, like the Marines are sometimes more useful than some of our uh, some of our friendlies. Now that you've uh, killed the very first wave of enemies, go over to the launch control. And this is where the firefight actually, like the firefight section actually begins. You're just gonna sit here and wait for a, you're just gonna deal with a bunch of these enemies. Immediately down this right path, you're gonna be dealing with those two jackals that, uh, those jackal uh, skirmishers that dropped. They'll be stunned in the animation, so you will be able to kill them. And here are those hunters that you, <laughs> That you were supposed to kill earlier. But now, now you have to kill them. There's no way around it. You just have to kill them. But luckily for you, you didn't have a rocket launcher earlier, which is why we wanted to wait before dealing with them. If you need to stay back, do it back here and the back left. Like back where you fell down. And I went a little dumb dumb mode and shot a freaking wall, so unfortunate but here you go you have a rail gun so use that if you can to uh, to take out the only use those against like let's say the hunters or um, an elite uh, a cloaked elite with a sword there we go got one of the hunters gonna pull back a little bit looking for any more jackals there we go had one right there all of them kind of just jumping around doing their thing it's about being patient in this room, honestly. You just sit here, wait for them to come up to you. Just like that. Luckily for us, we still have Linda. Typically, when it gets to this part, it's kind of scary because you're, um, like, you're still, like, those hunters can still kill you. On your feet, Linda. Was able to rescue Linda here. If you can rescue your teammates, rescue them because they are at least, if nothing else, even if they're useless against enemies sometimes, they are at least a very good distraction. So definitely want it to use your teammates yay us for more covenant reinforcements by the way this is wave number three keeping a tab uh, keeping tabs on that hunter right there and by the way the wave gets a little hard notice how they came with elites this time around and I only have four more shots hey was able to get, at least get the final few I'm uh, hoping that there's some ammo around here. I'm pretty sure that this railgun will just be my friend for right now. Looking for in that that elite, I guess, will be the uh, be the next victim of my railgun. Did I? Oh, he ended up going behind cover. That was not. I actually landed the shot on him that time, but I took his shield, so maybe maybe the teammates should should finish him off. <laughs> Trying to use the grenades to scare the hunter off. Ah, I was able to actually land that again. So, hoping that... There we go. Now we have the... Just a few more elites. A few more hunters around here. Come on. Trying to keep that jackal away from me. That jackal skirmisher. Picking up the storm rifle because... I'd rather at least have a way to, to kill this... Uh, Kill that jackal if he decides to get up close and personal. Hunters really take a lot of damage in Halo 5. It's insane. Like, we're talking like Promethean Knights in Halo 4 level. There we go. We, I think we are able to kill that. Yay, we get, we get to play with the saw now. Like, just use it. So the effective use for the saw is actually kind of bursting it. So you just want to do this when you're dealing with enemies like that. Oh, and by the way... Just when you thought that two hunters was fun. No, you get two more. <laughs> get behind cover. Uh, trying to see if we can take out these grunts from across the way. Probably can get more ammo for the railgun. See if we can kill that other hunter here. Nice. I think it's just this hunter now. I'm gonna try to see if we can clear out these last few grunts here on the left side. 
but notice how I'm kind of always going back to base camp whenever I feel like I've going out too far. There's the second hunter. What a what a nice how how nice for him to join us, right? Uh hunters. Always a pain. But again, luckily we do still have the Hydra uh, available to us. We still have a lot of uh, a lot of tools. Try and take out that that grunt. I think it really just comes down to um, the the last few enemies are all just. Oh my god! I just wasted an entire salvo of this uh, hydra on because I wasn't in the right spot to deal with this hunter. Awesome! Wasted another salvo because he didn't need the entire thing, but we'll be able to actually handle this uh, this final hunter here. Please just get. Oh, there we go. Uh, shotgun. I'm pretty sure we killed that other hunter then. Nice. Probably got the double kill there. Just clearing up the last bit of the room here. Uh, there we go. Now after you take out all those enemies, that is it. All you have to do is wait for them to basically let you to get to finish this mission. And by the way, that's it. I hope you guys liked the video. If you guys did, please like, subscribe, comment, and share. That was Blue Team on Legendary Difficulty with no deaths. We'll put a little asterisk next to that. But again, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time for Glast. Sierra 117 to infinity. Argent Moon scuttled. I've reassigned Blue Team. Destination Meridian. Potential contact from Cortana. Negative 117. Another team is already being prepped to deal with her. What the hell? You're to return to infinity immediately. Negative infinity. I don't like it. Whoever they are, let's get to Meridian before they do. Kelly, no. No need to do this by yourself, Chief. They won't court-martial all of us, right?